the formidable robot. Ho ho ho! Another Christmas special, but this turns out to be the last known Christmas special before they officially carried on the holiday theme. This one felt more like a season finale than anything but a Christmas special. According to a document uploaded from the company that was making the series, Overdose Studios. The company was on thin ice due to the cutbacks, recent episodes of Mortimer's Manor and some suspiciously sketchy things the companies were doing to make the episode seemingly for all ages, which bond horribly. The episode started, not with the usual festive theme. It started with an ominous drum in the background as it shown a new title, Krampus A Mortimer's Manor Christmas. This time, the camera zoomed out of the manor and into the South Pole, there, was the cave of the mysterious Krampus. Mortimer was sitting on another huge chair with Krampus. Krampus would start off speaking by any moment. Now, Krampus sounded even worse than Mortimer. Imagine if Satan and all of the ruthlessly evil morbid and gothic villain got mixed together into one voice. Krampus started off, his voice echoing through the caves. Greetings ghouls and creeps. I am Krampus, the rightful opposite of the so-called Santa Claus. If you're all good, I'll leave you be. But if not... His face leaned close. He had very sunken eyes, his features were half man, half goat, like a beast. He was hunched over, making him look menacing. Then I'll take you here. He said firmly. Then, Mortimer started off. As you can see, we've got our special guest storyteller Krampus. He would be taking over in telling this chilling tale. Go for it. You have the spotlight. Mortimer said, as Krampus grabbed a big black book and sat it on his lap. A loud <laughs> echoed in the caverns. This tale features me, in a story called Crow. The screen fades in and then shows a house during Christmas Eve at night. Everyone was sleeping, except for one. The uncle, Kirk, who was the only one awaken. He got up as he tried to get some water when he noticed that the stocking had something in it. He didn't bother it and went to the bathroom. When he came back, something was peeking through the shadows. The uncle made a mad dash into his room. That's when the uncle heard footsteps creaking, groaning, and heavy thuds of heavy hooves. The door slowly creaked as Krampus peeked in. There was a loud Krampus looked at the note, and reads quietly. Sorry, the cookies got burned on accident. Krampus was noticeably angry and went to the stockings. The uncle looked through the keyhole. He noticed Krampus shove his hand into the stocking, obviously putting something in it. Some loud shuffling was heard. But then, Krampus grabbed his sack and went to the kids' rooms. Two loud screams were heard before the same heavy footsteps were heard, going to the parents' room. The uncle could only stare in horror as two more screams were heard, then silence. The uncle went outside the next morning and checked. What the uncle found was horrifying. He found the mom and dad's bodies wrapped around the tree, with blood accompanied around it, their faces only of caused horror. The uncle checked the kids' rooms. No one. Then, he noticed something written in black cursive writing, and reads it. Dear Kirk, you've been a good man this year. For this, I've spared your life, but your family have all been very bad. For this, they are punished equally. I noticed the kids got coal from Santa. He told me right away to do what was necessary. Take this present. Krampus. Kirk grabbed the present. He unwrapped it. He couldn't believe it. Sitting in the box was the one thing the uncle wanted the most, a bottle of Jack Daniels. He popped the crack, sat on the chair amongst the dead bodies of his family and drank his Jack Daniels. He turned to the window and said, Cheers Krampus. It slowly pans out to show Krampus giving a nod before flying off, ending the episode. It fades in and shows the two. Wow, and I thought Santa was the killer. Mortimer said as the two cackled at the dark joke. <laughs> well, you know what they say, instigator of bad kids? He said proudly. And so, my friends, I'm afraid the Christmas portion of the specials are done. But fear not, 
There are more festive screams and ghoulish tales during the holiday season. Till then. Krampus got up and smiled evilly at the screen. Merry Christmas. His voice, dripping with evilness but a sense of Christmas joy, as the screen fades to black. As mentioned, something fishy seemed to be going on with the companies as they seemed hesitant to air the episodes. This felt like the Robotronical Renaissance all over again. Some even said this was like the time Jim Henson did The Land of Gorch during SNL in the early days, others said it was like the Andrew Dice Clay incident from the same show all over again. Whatever the case, the Christmas specials may be over, but there are still more to unpack.